Okay, folks, another video. Uh, Jeremy here. I already unboxed Sam the Omega Ranger, so now I am going to unbox the Psycho Rangers. Look at that. Pink's in the front, in the middle. Nice. Um, again, I got these from Amazon. I'm one of the first people to get these. They shipped them super quickly, which is ridiculous because where I live, I don't get things early. But I got them today on Saturday. And the interesting thing about the Psychos is that because they ship both toys separately, Sam was in a bubble mailer, but not only were the Psychos in a box, but the box was in a box of its own. You see a box pretty tight. It was a pretty tight fit right there. Psycho Ranger team pack. I thought that was pretty cool. So it definitely kept them nice and well preserved. It's a hard, thick box. That's what she said. Um... And then bam, it's got the nice write-up about the Psychos here. Very cool on the outside. And then let's see what that looks like when you move the plastic. Uh, just the little instructions in the corner, nothing special beyond that. But the plastic they're in is kind of a shiny, shiny gray, which I like. Very nice. Um, so they all have the hand attachment. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you, you know, red is the same figure we've gotten before. Same thing with blue. I figured I'd take a look at the other three quickly. Probably easier if I leave this out of this. Boom. Oh. Ooh, they do have some ties. Good thing I got my little knife here. So... Black is the most different, of course, because it's got the gold collar. Um, but yeah, hey, the gold goes all the way around to the back. Very nice. There's, he's got a nice long, that is a very nice long, um, um, is it a spear? Is it a spear? Yeah, sure. So yeah, it's, it's literally taller than him. So that is one that is one of the longest, if not the longest, probably uh, lightning collection weapon I've seen. So very nice job on black. Um, I guess that because his weapon was so long, they decided he didn't deserve a uh, energy blast. Ugh, these ties. Hold on a second. They aren't even that tight, but eh. they definitely slow down the process because, okay, so I, I said they weren't even that tight, and now I'm having a hell of a time with them. Here we go. Let me just get pink at the same time so I don't have to do this again. All right. Here we go. Starting with yellow. Let me get a weapon. Okay. Here's her little Star Slinger replica. Well, the evil version of it, whatever they call that. Pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty simple. Um, and then let's just check this sculpt because these are our first female Psycho Rangers because with the Legacy Collection, we got all the males, none of the females. So obviously it's definitely a fe feminine body, but one of the good things that they do is that their female bodies aren't like crazy, like Barbie wasted. So it's one of those things where you can tell it's a female, but it's not like ridiculous. Um, and it's kind of a weird, weird issue too, because, you know, in the show, they didn't really do a lot different with the female versus the male. So actually using the same bodies might have been more screen accurate, depending. Um, and you can see on the um, side here, the gauntlets, because the arms are thinner, the, the, the color little boxes are... Um, a bit bigger, but overall, again, great, great, solid figure. And it's just nice to have an entire team. I don't know if anybody would have guessed long-term 
that the Psycho Rangers would have been the team that we had completely first, you know? Like, odd choice. Um, okay, and then there's her bow. Also fun that her bow is the only one with a f actual string. Um, so her string is, it is just plastic. So I wouldn't go around like playing with it a lot because I think it's something that could easily snap if you pull it back and forth too much. So be careful about that. But it is interesting because, you know, Kimberly's, um, even though it rarely ever actually had a bow in the show, you know, it was more like an energy beam. I think it was a bow like in the Song of Guitardo because they needed it. But so it's actually got a full bow. I, I kind of wish it would have been string, you know, like I wish it would have just been attached, like tied or molded in or something string. But you know, it's it's still fine. It's a good, good, good little weapon. And again, the figure probably pink is the most well known psycho because of all she did in Lost Galaxy. But hey, it's good to have two more female figures added to the crew. Um, so again, good, good set. My problem is the same problem everybody has, which is you're buying five figures for the price of five figures, but two of them are figures most of us already own. It is what it is. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I'm Jeremy, aka Captain Subpar, saying like, oh wait, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Gotta say it, sorry. Until next time, I'm gonna be King of the Geeks, and thank you for tuning in. Sorry that this was a rush job, but nah, it is what it is. Hope you liked it.